Welcome to Latte Teacher. In this video, just in three simple steps, we will understand how to run Flutter application in a real device wirelessly. So without wasting time, let's get started. Before we start the steps, it's important to note that we must install Flutter properly and set the path for these platform tools inside your Android SDK folder. This is because we are going to use the tool called ADB in order to enjoy the wireless connectivity. If you don't know how to install Flutter properly and how to set the path for important folders in Flutter, I request you guys to go ahead and watch the video called Install Flutter without Android Studio from this channel. Link is also there in the description. Now the second thing that we should have is a connectivity between our phone and the laptop. So for this purpose, we can either use the central Wi-Fi from our room if it is available and if it is not available we can simply connect a phone with the laptop or pc using the mobile hotspot let's understand the first situation and that is by using the central wi-fi you can see here in my phone i have turned on the wi-fi and i have connected my phone to the network called geo fiber edb m9 and uh, i have connected my laptop to the same network and this type of connectivity we can say as the central wi-fi so if it is not available unfortunately in your room then what we can do we can simply turn on the mobile uh, internet and we have to turn on hotspot and make sure that we have to connect our laptop or pc to the same hotspot which we are providing in our phone so in my phone the name of my hotspot is flutter developer and i have connected my laptop to this flutter developer hotspot so i think for most of the guys uh, central wi-fi is not available we have only one device with us so uh, for explaining this video i'm going to continue this step that is by using the hotspot also Let's start from step number one that is enabling USB debugging in real device. Simply tap on the settings icon of your phone and once you tap here, you have to scroll down at the end, you will find the option called system. Tap on this system option, then you will get the option called about phone. Tap on this about phone and scroll down at the end. Then you will find the option called build number. You have to tap on this build number seven times. So as I'm already a developer, it is showing message, no need, you are already a developer. Then tap on this back button. You will find option called advanced tap on this advanced and you will find the new option available in your phone that is called developers option tap on this developer option and we have to scroll down a little bit you will find option called usb debugging so make sure that we have to turn on this usb debugging and we have to turn on this developer options now it's very important to note that the place or location where i have found this developer options and about phone and that bin number may not be same in your phone so depending upon what type of phone or what type of android you are using based on that one the place of your developer mode and the place of your about phone may be different so whatever options are there we have to find that one and we have to enable this developer option and usb debugging after this the second step is we have to note down ip address of our phone for getting ip address in your phone simply tap on this settings icon then scroll down at the end you will get an option called system Tap on this system and you will find option called about phone. Tap on this about phone and we have to scroll down a little bit. Then we will get this option called IP address. So in my case, I have got the dynamic IP address. This is because I have turned on internet in my phone and I have enabled the hotspot by which I have connected my laptop. So if it is not the case, means if you are using the central Wi-Fi in your system, then you will get the local IP address in the form of 192.168. something dot something. But I have got the uh, dynamic IP address which is actually the 100.78.166.210 Now connect your phone with the laptop via USB cable We just need this connectivity to enable ADB Once we are done with that one, we are going to disconnect the cable and go wirelessly You can see here, I have connected my phone with the laptop using my regular USB cable which I use for charging Then we need to run the command called ADB and for running that one, we have to open the command prompt. So I have already opened command prompt here. I hope you guys can see here. Let's write a command called ADB. ADB basically stands for Android Debugger Bridge. It is a command line tool that allows a phone to connect with the laptop. And as we're going to use the IP address, so we can enjoy the wireless connectivity by means of this ADB tool. After this, we have to write say TCP IP and then we have to write the port number. So here I'm using a port number four times five. We can use a different port number, but make sure that we should not use the resort port numbers from our operating system. Simply hit the enter button and you will get the message called restarting in TCP mode with this port number. After that, we have to write again command called adb, then type here connect. Then we have to specify the IP address that we have noted down in this step number two. 
So for me, this IP address is 100.78.166.210. Then we have to write colon and we have to specify the port number. Make sure that uh, you will get a different IP address. So if you are using the uh, mobile hotspot and you are in the mobile internet, then you will get this kind of real IP address. And if you are using the central Wi-Fi to connect with your phone and laptop, then you will get uh, some uh, static kind of IP address which start from 192.168. something dot something. Now after that, simply hit the enter button and it will show you the message that connected to this specific IP address with that port number. Now guys, let me disconnect my phone here you can see i have disconnected my phone now it is not at all connected to any usb cable so let me keep my phone here and let me open the vs code so let me minimize uh, this window i have already opened the vs code here so let me tap on this vs code here you can see i have got this vs code and let me tap on the options available so when i tap here you can see vs code has detected this as uh, this phone here uh, i guess uh, you can see it well so let's tap on this specific option and let me run this application here so meanwhile we have to wait until this application gets executed in my phone you can see application is running successfully in my phone let me hit the command called ctrl b and ctrl j so that i can maximize my uh, vs code screen you can see here okay let me keep my phone a little bit aside uh, the uh, background color which i have selected for scaffold is a white that's why it's appearing a white color let me change this to say yellow so let's write here yellow and when i save here you can see it will now appear in yellow color okay in order to get confirm that i don't have any connectivity or i don't have any wire you can see here it is appeared with yellow color still i don't have any wire so it is 100 percent wireless connectivity and let me change this color to say uh, say orange let's write here orange let's save here we can get now orange color or we can use say green here so let's use green and you can see now it will appear in a green color so in order to get confirmed that uh, I don't have anything, I am I'm not using central Wi-Fi here because I know lots of you don't have the central Wi-Fi. So let me ensure that uh, I don't have the central Wi-Fi. Okay. So let me come here. Okay. Let me come closer to the uh, phone here. Means uh, to this recording phone which I'm using here. You can see here I'm not connected to central Wi-Fi. I simply have this uh, mobile data on and I have this hotspot on here and let me show you the name of my hotspot when i turn here so let me tap on this mobile hotspot you can see here my hotspot name is the flutter developer and the same hotspot i have used in my uh, laptop also so you can see here okay, let me keep my phone aside here you can see i have connected my laptop to this same uh, flutter developer here i hope you can see it properly so that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.